Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming testing new makeup. So if you guys would like to see some new makeup on my skin tone, hear my first impression thoughts, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to post tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I've been a very busy camper. We had a video on the Alice in Wonderland collection with Wet n Wild. We did my haul that was long overdue. I also posted with the new Blend Bunny palette. And today I'm sitting down to test some new makeup as well. So I'm very excited. The only thing I have on my face is sunscreen and primer. I can't wait to fix my hair. I look like a hot mess. I've been outside, but I'm ready to sit down and play, and my primer is dry, so that is perfect. So the first thing I want to test out is actually a new product from Huda Beauty. This is her color corrector, so it's called the Faux Filter Corrector, and I didn't really need this, but I do love Huda Beauty's brand, and I figured, let me go ahead and try it. So it says, it is infused with niacinamide, blendable and layerable, brightens and evens discoloration. So it also says on here that this is crease and sweat transfer proof, so I'm very excited to go ahead and test this out. I've had a lot of really good luck with Huda Beauty stuff. It's typically... Pretty good coverage and it's very long wearing as well and you guys know I mean I'd be shocked if you didn't know this about me but I had a new baby just over a month ago two months ago she's not quite two months yet so anyway I recently had a baby and she is a really good sleeper but not of course sleeping through the night yet so the eye bags are very much designer and I am really self-conscious about my eyes. That's like the one part of my face that I wish was better taken care of. And of course I'm like in need of a facial, but I will do that after things get a little crazy. But I feel like that is already brightening up and color correcting my dark circle. So very excited to layer a foundation over it. but. Let's go ahead and put a little bit on in these places that I have slight discoloration. I also apparently scratch my lip. I am finally able to grow out my nails, knock on wood. I mean, that could change any second here. But typically, I bite off my nails. I mean, I'm not like a serial nail biter, but they never really last. The length never does, and they're finally growing. So... Anyway, I have these claws, so anytime I like itch a little bit, I feel like I bruise, but I guess I can put some on right there as well, but man, I feel like it really worked out, that color corrector. So I got this in the shade Mango, and I'm very excited to see how this does. Now, we're also testing out a new foundation today, and then I will throw on concealer on top of the foundation, but this one, I wasn't going to buy this, okay? I wasn't going to buy this, and then I was like, oh, I want a few things on the Sephora site. And then I was like, oh, let me do a testing new makeup. And somehow, I don't know who did it, but some kind of villainous monster entered my brain. <laughs> and I bought the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Hydrate, smooth, and correct. So I'm actually not a big fan of skin tints, especially like hydrating skin products. Right now I'm really into more of a natural to matte finish on my face. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like this, but we're going to try it out. I got it in the shade 9, and I've never tried anything from Danessa's Yummy Skin line. So I'm also like partially very curious because I didn't buy any of the like primers or anything and I winged my shade match so let's see how it goes here I'm just of course applying it without any rhyme or reason I was gonna use a brush but I used a beauty blender for the color correction so I figured let's just stick to the beauty blender but it definitely has like a hydrating finish I think the color match is good I can't believe how crazy my hair looks I am so 
professional, you guys. YouTuber extraordinaire. Best hair in the game. <laughs> this actually does look really good, though. I'm kind of, like, interested to see how this does. Because it is finishing down pretty nice and it has good coverage. I do like that it has decent coverage because I like to have some kind of perfection on the skin because if I'm gonna wear makeup, I want my skin to look good. Okay, so it's very dewy, glowy, hydrating looking. We'll see how it does, how it wears and things like that. I'm very, very curious. So for concealer, we're gonna stick to the Huda theme and I'm just gonna use my full filter concealer. And I think I'm just gonna put it under the eyes. I feel like the rest of my face looks okay. Gosh, that concealer is so good. I swear, it like does not crease. It looks hydrated, but good coverage. I need to set it and I will. I don't have a new powder to use today, but I did grab my hourglass powder from my powder drawer. I feel like it was time to switch up my powder because I've been using the Sigma powder for so long. I keep that one in my foundation drawer itself. And so I was like, okay, it's time to switch out or at least pull up another powder just so I at least have another option, <laughs> you know. But the Sigma one is my fave. This one is also another favorite of mine and I haven't used it in forever. So... I pulled it out and I'm just putting a little bit on the under eyes and just a little bit on the forehead. Everything else I'm gonna leave as is until I layer on my products. Okay, so I have a new eyeshadow palette to test out. Shroud Cosmetics sent me their Peaches and Dreams palette and this one is launching today. So hopefully I got this video posted before it launches, but all of the information is gonna be in my description box if you guys are interested in picking this up. So this is a very mid-tone palette for Shroud. I wouldn't say pastel, right, because they have their Creepy Cute palette, but it's definitely gonna pair really well with their existing palettes because you guys know with me, I love a like extra deepening up shade in palettes just because I like a good smoky vibe, but this one doesn't have that and that's okay. We're gonna be just fine without it. I'm just saying in my mind, if I was making the perfect palette for me, I would include a dark matte, but Shroud has so many dark matte shades in their lineup already. I get why they didn't include one in this palette, but it's super cute. I have swatches and close-ups, so I will throw those up while we're talking. I did have a bit of a casualty with this shade called Felicity, but I was able to press that back in and yeah, all the shades look like pretty duochromes, and then there is a matte shade that goes with it. So, yeah, I'm excited to create a look with this. I'm also going to use a white eyeshadow primer because I want to give this color story the best chance it can have. And I feel like it's just going to pop so much more on my skin with a white base. So I'm just adding this one from... NYX Cosmetics. Do you guys have any exciting plans for the 4th of July? I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section. I love when you guys share about your lives with me. So while I'm putting this on, feel free to let me know if you guys are going to be with family or you guys fireworks people. I would love to hear from y'all. Okay, so the primer is on. I'm going to give it a few minutes to set. And in the meantime, I'm going to do my brows really quick. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this shade called Velveteen. It's a really pretty purpley shade. And we're going to start by putting that on the outer corner here. And I'm just going to tap it with this brush from Spectrum. And I just want to get some pigmentation on to my lid with this color as I'm going to use it as the darker shade in the eye look. So we're just gonna plop, 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 plop on some of that matte shadow. Okay, so I just cleaned off my brush with my Sigma Switch and I'm gonna go into the shade Peach Milk, which is this pretty 
peachy like pastel-y color and I'm just going to stamp that onto the inner corner and into the crease. I'm trying really hard not to blend because with shades like this to get like the most amount of opacity I really need to press that in and blending is definitely a habit of mine <laughs> and so I'm trying really hard to press in the color so that I can get a nice pigmented pop of peach in the inner corner and it seems to be working really nicely that is such a pretty color oh my goodness you know I used to think when I heard people say that they love to do matte looks that it's like so boring but sometimes the way these mattes just like pop and they're so flattering on the lid it just makes it look so like smooth I kind of don't blame people for wanting to do all matte looks. Okay, next I'm going to go into the shade Heat Wave. So it's like a brighter coral shade. And we're going to put that in between the purple and the peach. And I'm just going to kind of get that on the edge of the crease as well. Okay, I really like how the coral is looking. I'm just adding a little bit more of peach milk just to amp it up a little bit more again and yeah I really like how that crease is looking with the purple on the outer edge so now we need to figure out what we want to use on the lids but in the meantime I think I'm gonna do the lower lash line quick actually and I'm trying to think of what shade to use in the water line Okay, I'm going to use Get Lucid by Colourpop. It's like a metallic rose gold liner. And it's from their new Smoking Hot collection that they sent me. So I think that'll pair really nicely with the peachy vibes that I have going on on the lid. I think I saw Colourpop doing 30% off their site. I think it's like their 4th of July sale. And I've been eyeing some of these aligners, so I might want to pick up some more. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the red shade or the coral shade called Heat Wave. And I'm just going to press that on the waterline. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of Velveteen, which is the purple, and just kind of make sure that the edges look neat on the end here okay and then for the lid i kind of want to play with this peachy shade called sun shower it's so pretty and i think it'll pair really perfectly with this eye look so i'm going to grab a flat brush we're going to pick up a nice generous amount of the eyeshadow and it's pretty flaky, so it definitely looks like it needs to get a nice spray. And then we're going to start right here and go at it in an angle. Oh my goodness, I picked up a little too much. <laughs> We've got a casualty. There goes my under eye. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch of glitter in my under eye. Oh gosh. Oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay, I thought I sprayed my brush well, but apparently not. I'm going to take some on my pencil brush, give it a good spray so it sticks. And I'm just putting the same color into the inner corner. It's so sparkly and pretty. It's so fun. So yeah, I'm bummed though that I got some on my under eye, so I don't know if I can fix it. It seems like it's pretty much, oh yeah, I just made it worse. I need to stop, maybe use a brush to clean that up. But that is it for the eye look. So let me throw on some bronzer quick so we can test out some more new products. Okay, so the next thing I wanna test out is this from Bare Minerals. So this is their highlighting blush and I got it in the shade peach glow now let's go ahead and ooh, it feels really smooth 
It's a really pretty highlighter. I don't feel like it has enough pigmentation to just show up on my skin tone. So I think I'm going to help it out a little bit with one of the new Gucci blushes. I haven't used these a ton, so I'm going to go ahead and throw a little bit on for this video. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here called soft red it looks like a really pretty peachy tone so i'm just grabbing this bk beauty brush and i'm just gonna throw that on with this brush oh that's so pretty i don't want to put a ton on but kind of want to have a little bit of color because i have a feeling this blush highlighter from bare minerals doesn't have a ton of pigmentation to it and you guys know me, I love blush, so I just wanted to add just a little bit of color. And I'm going to stick to the same brush. I'm going to go in to the Bare Minerals Blush Highlight. And I'm just going to go right over where I put the Gucci. This is definitely more of a highlighter than a blush to me, but that's alright. I was just very curious. Is it like super duper subtle? Just putting a little bit over my brows. What do you guys think? Very, very, very subtle, which kind of makes sense for Bare Minerals. I mean, that's like their whole thing, isn't it? That they have very, very minimalistic vibes. So, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh my gosh, my under eyes look ridiculous. I also was sent from Auric. They sent me their travel sizes of their Glow Lust. These are so cute. Also, I feel like I have kind of taken a break from wearing a lot of glowy products like this. So if you want to try the brand, this might be a great way to do that. So I would also just use this as a highlighter. I think I'm going to try out the shade. Should I try this one called S-N-S-T-N-E? I don't know how to say that. Hmm. Anyway, it's in this super cute little tube. I'm just going to put on more highlighter because, like, I mean, there's no such thing as too much when it comes to highlighter, right? So we're going to give it a little squeeze. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to tap it on. So this is one way you can use it. Of course, the other way is to just mix it into your foundation. It makes your foundation super duper dewy. But I just love that they did this size because it's a pretty big bottle. And so there it is. Okay, super fun. Sorry, I got sidetracked. It's a pretty big bottle. And this is just a good way to get a little sampling in. And of course, if you do want it to travel, you can do that as well. But yeah, okay, I need to stop. I feel so dewy. It's like a little bit, it's a little bit much for me right now. But I actually have two new lip products to try out. I did pick up one of the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Liquid Lipstick in the shade Honey Blur. This is described as a terracotta, so I'm expecting like major things with this. So... Let's go ahead and put it on. It feels very smooth. Okay, that is like intensely creamy in a really good way. And I think I finally found a shade from Charlotte Tilbury that I approve of because I can't be the only one that was so sick of Pillow Talk like and so many pink shades. So I finally feel like we're getting somewhere <laughs> with Charlotte Tilbury's lip color. So this is the shade Honey Blur from the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Lip Line. Super pretty. I want to see how that dries down. I don't think I'm going to be able to test these out today, but Hard Candy sent over their new lip oils. So these are their Glostopia Lip Repair Oils. It says restores hydration and delivers next level shine so we have six different shades and i will go ahead and pop swatches up for you guys just so you can see them i think these are now available at your local drugstores 
I saw these at my local Walmart, so I'm assuming that you'll be able to find them as well. And yeah, I can't wait to test these out some more because I feel like it's the year of lip oils and everyone and their mama is coming out with a lip oil. But that is it for the new makeup that I wanted to test out in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face, put on some mascara, do something with this hair, and I'll be right back to give you guys my first impression thoughts on all the new makeup I just tested. Okay friends, so here is the finished look. I just wanted to make a little note because I did throw up swatches of these lip oils and I swatched it after I told you guys I was gonna swatch it so I just want to let you know I didn't see a difference in the shades like I don't know if it'll be different if I just put it on my lips because my lips are a little bit lighter than my hand but they all just look like glossy colors there was no like difference in the shades so low-key curious about that but I kind of want to keep wearing the Charlotte Tilbury so I don't want to put any lip oil on over it because the Charlotte Tilbury is like a soft matte. It's not drying down on my lips so I don't feel like a lip oil is going to help that. It's going to just start moving around so I'm just going to keep the Charlotte Tilbury on but I thought that was weird that there was no like difference in the color so I guess it's nice if you only pick up one shade, but if you bought a bunch of these, I don't know if it's going to look any different when you actually put it on your lips. Anyway, this is the finished look, and the earrings are also part of the Peaches and Dreams collection from Shroud. So let's go ahead and talk about that collection really quick. So this is launching today at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, which is 11 Central Time. The palette retails for $50, and then the earrings will retail for $15. Otherwise, there's going to be a bundle for $58. But as far as the eyeshadow palette goes, I really love this theme. I think the earrings are so cute. The packaging is so nice, and the metallics are super duper pretty. I can't wait to play with them even more. The one thing I would say if I could tweak it is of course the fact that I need some deepening up shades but it's not the end of the world because the last palette they did was a more deep tone palette. So if you have that one you can always pull it out and pair them together or you can just do something like this and wear just this palette alone. So it's definitely workable and it's fun so I'm glad they did something a little bit more light with their line. I think this was a good fit for them. So. Thank you to Shroud for sending that my way. I will definitely keep playing with this and keep you guys posted on my thoughts in my June ranking video. As far as the Huda color corrector goes, I'm actually really pleased with this. I think it did a really good job. I was comparing it to the NARS one that I used in one of my last testing new makeup videos and I think I prefer this one just based off of first impressions. I think it looks really nice in my under eyes. It really color corrected and I feel like I prefer this formula to the NARS one. The NARS one felt a little bit greasy and a little bit more emollient. This one kind of blended into my skin a lot better so I'm very happy with that. I tend to not color correct just in general. I know that I know color correcting is a huge trend right now but I don't typically color correct but this one this one's giving me some hope that I can actually see a difference with color correcting. So if I had to pick between this one and the NARS, honestly, based off of first impression, I would pick this one. I feel like it just did a better job for me. Now, as far as the Danessa Myrick Skin Tint goes, I did use a primer today. I used the Glow Recipe Primer, so just keep that in mind. But I feel like it hasn't dried down. Every time I touch my face, I feel the foundation on my hands, so that's something to note. I feel like if you have oily skin, I can't imagine that this is going to stay on your face. I haven't watched any other videos with this, so I am just giving you guys my thoughts. And I think it gave me like good coverage. I like how my skin looks. I did also throw on some of the Milk Pore Eclipse Spray. And this is a matte setting spray, so I think it did reduce the shine a little bit. Which honestly, I'm not mad about because I don't love overly dewy skin at the moment. My mind is always changing. My preferences are always changing. I've been going through like a matte or natural looking skin phase recently so I'm not into super glowy skin. So I was expecting this one to be super glowy which it was. 
but I feel like once I combined it with this one it worked out just fine and I've set my under eyes as well so I will continue to see how this wears if I have any like updates that I want to send you guys I will put it in a pinned comment down below just so you guys can see it or in the description box or something like that just letting you guys know if I have any additional thoughts on the wear of this product but I'm glad I tried it it was probably not something I needed to buy but you know, sometimes you get on Sephora and you're like, mm, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Now, I have used, obviously, the Auric Glow Lust before. I just wanted to show that they sent me the travel size. I think this is a great way for you to sample the product instead of committing to a full-size bottle. And it does give a really pretty glow. So I feel like I'm going to sound like a broken record. I'm just not into super dewy skin at this moment in time. Gucci blush is newer in my collection, but I've used it in a different testing new makeup video before and I like the Gucci blushes. I purchased two of the new shades, but I did buy them when they initially launched and they're lovely. This guy I feel like is just a highlighter to me. It doesn't have enough pigment in it. For me to consider it a blush highlighter, I would have liked for it to have a little bit more color in it, but it's a nice subtle highlight and sometimes I'm really into that. So. I will continue to test this out. Like I said, I have the shade Peach Glow, so that is super pretty. And then last but certainly not least is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Lipstick. I'm kind of surprised that this doesn't dry down. I don't know if that's going to bother me in the future, but the applicator is really nice and it's uh, very creamy. I don't love that it's not transfer proof, but that's not the end of the world. So. Just want to mention that, that it doesn't dry down. Packaging super cute. I'm just happy that I have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that I can talk about now because I feel like so many people have like a signature shade like, what is it, like KKW or something? They have a shade that's like inspired by Kim Kardashian and like all these different like supermodels and stuff like that and people always like reference like oh, I'm going to pull out like my Pillow Talk lipstick or Pillow Talk is like my go-to shade from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't have a color like that. So hopefully this can be my gal. We'll see how it goes. Also though, keeping in mind, I am on a lipstick no buy. <laughs> cough, cough. And <laughs> so I really shouldn't be buying lipstick. Do I think this color is unique? Absolutely not. The price is ridiculous when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury. But here I am paying it anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this shade on my lips. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of testing new makeup. I do have some videos that I filmed, pre-filmed, that I will be posting later this week. But if I don't see you guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a safe and happy 4th of July. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.